Lisa Kennecke, a school counselor at River Bluff Middle School in Stoughton. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. And you've already made me and Charlotte feel better this morning. Yes. We feel, thank you've you for the job. comments. Yes, Good. we feel better about ourselves. <laughs> um, and, and now, we, we don't have any misconceptions that, that it is fun every now and again to come to a television station, but this pales in comparison <laughs> to the visit to the White House that you took last week. Tell us a little bit about that. It was amazing. So, um, Michelle Obama has realized how important school counselors are to help students figure out what they're going to do in the future. And so she has an initiative called Reach Higher. Mm -hmm. And so school counselors were invited uh, to the White House just as the Teacher of the Year was invited. Mm -hmm. Now we have the School Counselor of the Year invited. So this was our second year at the White House. And she announced there that we'll be back for a third year next year as well. How long have you been a school counselor? This is my ninth year as a school counselor. Three at the high school and six at the middle school. What is it about this job <laughs> that, that keeps you in it? The kids, absolutely. There is never the same day twice. And so I get to help kids deal with maybe talking to a teacher with academic things. It might be stress that they have with friends or family. And then I love having them think about what they're going to do after high school and maybe a career. You know, it's not easy. We joke a lot about our kids. and so It's mm -hmm. not easy being a kid, though, and, and growing up, especially at that age where mm -hmm. there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. And a lot has changed, too, since back in the day when I was a, a kid going to school, technology has changed a lot of things. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot more students come in with anxiety yeah. and just lots of different stress things that can happen. I imagine when you started this job, compared to how you are today and what you have seen, it's nothing that you've really trained for. No, in and a sense. It, it's amazing. I, I went to UW-Whitewater, yay, yeah. um, and it was, a phenomenal experience but just as you know what parenting doesn't come with a handbook you know there are some things that we can go to as school counselors but I just do the best every day as every other school counselor in the state of Wisconsin and across the nation does and the best thing that we do is listen the kids usually tell us what they need mm -hmm. and then we'll help them with strategies to be successful is there anything and I know it's probably hard to kind of sum up in, in a single story but is there a moment that you've had in your experience where you've you could kind of crystallize and say, that's it. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I, I would say, what a great question. Uh, I think Thank that you. it is when the kid gets it. And so going from middle school, um, it's not very, they don't thank us all of the time. But then when they graduate from high school, and I guess the best story is having a student who wants to become a school counselor. And I have a friend, a student of mine, and she's in Minnesota as a school counselor right now. And to me, that's the best. Best gig ever. You know, I used to be scared to go to the school counselors. I'm like, oh, I didn't right. want to bother. Yeah. Oh, but no. But I found myself there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. You know? Yes. And it was, it was the best thing ever. It was a mm -hmm. great thing to have. Yes. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you don't have us. to worry. You don't have to wait for the thank you right now. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Lisa Kennecke, who's a school counselor with River Bluff Middle School in Stoughton. It is National School Counselor Week. Mm -hmm. Thank your school counselor if you can. Yay. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.